Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the difference array problem which is a range update query problem. A practice problem would be lead code number 370 which is the range addition problem. Before looking at the problem statement, I would like to announce about our DSA live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept. It makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can. All the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class. In order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number. Now let us look at the problem statement. In this problem we are given an array and I have assumed that the array is nothing but the stock prices of different stocks and the goal here is there will be two types of queries. The first query will be an invest query which actually increases the investment in a given range. So there are n number of stocks, let's say there are 5 stocks from 0 to 4 and the initial investment is given. So this is known as a portfolio and on this portfolio if we want to invest let's say from stock number 1 to stock number 3 that is index 1 to 3 we want to invest 10 unit of money. So if we do that then we can just iterate over the index from 1 to 3 and we can just add 10 and the values updated will be shown here right. Now again if the second query comes about investing from 1 to 4 with the value 5 then you can see that from 1 to 4 the value is increasing by 5. Now each of these invest queries will take order of n time because in the worst case you might be getting an invest query from 0 to n minus 1 with a given value v and so we will have to iterate through the entire array in order to do the investment. So the invest query becomes order of n for each query and uh, getting the portfolio is order of 1 because the portfolio is already present. So if after query 2 let's say uh, someone asks you about the portfolio then this is the array you want to return. So this is order of 1. Now if you have q number of queries then in the worst case all the queries can be invest type queries and hence the time complexity will be order of q into n. This is the simple approach. I hope you got the goal which we are trying to achieve in this problem. The problem says about updating in a given range from i to j with a given value. Now before looking at any better approach let us understand a concept. You might have been to school and in school you will see that people stand in a line uh, according to their height. So if we make people stand according to their increasing height order then you will see that the actual height is mentioned as 3 feet, 3.4 feet, 3.6 and so on till 4.5 feet. Now if we just take the relative height then the first person knows about his height. Let's assume the first person knows about his height. It is 3 feet. Now if we take the relative height, the relative height is nothing but how taller is the person as compared to the person just standing in front of him, right? So you can see that it will be 3.4 minus 3 which will be 0 0.4 and similarly you can calculate all the relative height for every person, right? So let's say only the first person knows the actual height for himself and the rest other people know the relative height right just by looking at the person standing in front of him. Now if you have this relative height and let's say a query comes about increasing the height from the second to the fourth person okay so let's say th this is the second person this is the first person and this is the second person so from second person to fourth person we want to increase the height how to do that one simple approach can be to just iterate from the first person to fourth person and just add the height of one feet which is asked to increment right. But that will be order of n we already saw that. Now we can use the concept of relative height. Let's say that if we if we assume that all these guys will be increasing their height by let's say one feet. So all these all these three people will be increasing their height and simply the person standing here in the second position will have 4.4 feet, he will have 4.6 feet and he will have 5 feet. Now if you talk about the relative height, the relative height will only change for the first person. Okay, only for the first person and the person just next to the last person in the range. Okay, but the relative height will not change between this person, right? This relative height will not change. Again, this relative height is not going to change because they are actually increasing by the same height and so the third person as compared to the second person will have the same relative height and the fourth person as compared to the third person will have the same relative height. 
so if this is the range in which we are going to increase the height then the relative height will increase for the first person because he is looking at somebody whose height is not changing and the person next to the last person in the range will see the effect of increasing height because he will see that the next person is increasing his height so the relative uh, height of this person will decrease right and for this person it should increase if we are increasing the height so by using that logic what we can do is we can just add whatever is the diff amount that is one feet we can just add it and this will become 1.4 and similarly just for the next person we can decrease the height by one feet and this will become minus 0.5 feet okay and the rest all values will remain the same so this will be 0 0.2 0 0.4 and three feet now once we have this relative height this is a correct relative height and we can actually get the actual height array from the relative height and how to build that let's see this so the first person knew his actual height so it will be three feet now the next person is saying that i am 1.4 feet taller than the person standing in front of me so this will be 3 plus 1.4 which will be 4.4 and similarly this third person had calculated its relative height uh, by seeing the second person and it is saying the third person is taller than the second one by 0 0.2 so it will be 4.6 and similarly this will be 5 and this will be 5 minus 0 0.5 so this will remain to be 4.5 okay so this is a very efficient way in which we can do increment or decrement of values in a given range from i to j for a given value v in just order of one time if we know the gradient array or the relative height array okay so i hope this was clear now once you have the relative height array then you can increment in any given range whatever may be the size of the range in just order of one time right by just incrementing the first value and decrementing the next of the last value in the range so let us apply this technique to our problem so our problem was multiple stocks were given with the given uh, amount of investment so from 0 to 4 they had the given investment like this and from this what we can do is we can find the gradient array something uh, very similar to taking the relative height so the first person as we know will know his height which will be 15 and starting from the next person you will see the relative height by comparing with just the next person standing in front of you so 10 minus uh, 15 will be minus 5 hence the gradient is minus 5 and similarly you can calculate for all of them right i have added a dummy value 0 here because if the update is in the range where the last value is index number 4 then we do not have any next value to decrement the value with right you can also exclude this but once you start coding you will see the benefit of of including an extra 0 but you can do it without including an extra 0 so let's see let's do the query so we want to invest from index 1 to index 3 with a value 10 so what we got to do is we just add 10 in the first instance so this will become 5 and uh, the last index of the range is 3 so we will go to the next one and decrease the same value so this will become 10 right 20 minus 10 will be 10 and the rest all values remain same remain same as it is okay now this is the this is after query number one let's say we also perform another query which is investing from one to four with a value five so what we do is we just add for index one we just add value five so this will be 10 and we just subtract five to the next index of four which is index number five so you see that is why i have added this dummy value so this becomes minus five rest all values remains the same 15 10 minus 5 15 and 10 now the third query is about getting the portfolio what is your current portfolio so if you want to return the portfolio i know that this is the gradient array and the first value is the actual investment of the first stock which is the zeroth stock so this will be 15 now this second one is saying that my investment is 10 units more as compared to the next one i mean the the first one so this will be 15 plus 10 which will be 25 and the third person will be 25 plus minus 5 which will be 20 and this will be 35 and this will be 45 and uh, this is a dummy value so we don't need to update this anyway just following the process and writing it now once you have to return this you have to remove the last item because that was dummy 
and you will see that this is the final portfolio 15 25 20 35 45 so how did we do the investment this is the general format that if we want to invest in the range of i to j with a value v now v can be a negative value or a positive value doesn't matter so we have to increment the ith gradient value by doing array i mean the gradient array at i plus equals to v and we have to decrement by the same value in the next index of the last range value so g at j plus 1 minus equals to v this is the only logic for the entire range update query to be solved in order of 1 so this was done in order of 1 and this was also done in order of 1 but my portfolio will be order of n okay so the time complexity for the range update query in this case was order of 1 a practice problem would be lead code number 370 this is a very good practice problem exactly the same problem as we saw and this is the entire code so the difference array involved two steps build the gradient array if required and then do the range update query i will share this code in the description below you can have a look at it i hope this video was helpful if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you